There are five ways I live more frugal in 2024 than before. And I want to share these tips with you. And I hope you get some value out of them. The first one is I pay myself first. What does this mean? Before I invested whatever amount I had left at the end of the month and I didn't make it a priority. But this is changing now. I am trying to invest a huge portion, three times the amount of money I have invested before every single month. And it is a strict amount, so I have to invest it no matter what. I personally feel like investing is a huge opportunity and should be done by everyone to build wealth. For me, my investing strategy is very simple. I invest in the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq. These make up about 50% of my investment portfolio. Other than these two ETFs, I invest into two famous copy traders on eToro, which is a feature special on the platform I use. It simply tracks their investments and copies all their investments at the same time. So I have my investments split into four different assets. So if one is performing bad, the three other ones will make up for it. With my investment strategy, I simply want to retire early, have more financial freedom and reduce my work amount at my 9 to 5 job to spend in the future more time with my kids or have time for hobbies and my passion. The second one is buying only things I truly need. I was already very thoughtful with the things I bring into my life, but this year I'm trying to be more strict on myself. I only bring in things into my life that truly add value or save me time. For example, right now I'm thinking of investing into my YouTube channel and buying a light stand and an additional light to improve my videos and my workflow. I see that as an investment into myself and my future. I'm carefully thinking about which light exactly to get so it serves all my purposes which I need. Sometimes I go so far that I go kind of down the rabbit hole and get lost in all the different lights and options, but it's also a process I enjoy a lot. I think I enjoy it more than actually receiving the light. Another way of adding things is that they have to replace an item I already have. or even better, replace two items with just adding one item into your life. I think it's important that you keep your personal spending low because this is the biggest leverage you probably have as your rent, health insurance and other things are most of the time fixed. But your personal expanding, you can really save a lot of money if you rethink all the things you bring into your life. Third one, rethinking, reorganizing, and with that also comes selling. As I am improving my workflow and spending more time creating these YouTube videos, I do realize which things I actually need and which things I don't. Plus, I also realize what saves me a lot of time. So I do have a lot of cables, accessories, and tech things I thought I actually need, but I do not need them or I barely use them at all. And if I do, they're kind of annoying. So I'm not jumping into conclusions and immediately selling everything. No, I take my time and carefully think about the items which I already in my life, do I need them? Me and my wife do live in a small apartment. So it's very important that we reconsider from time to time things and especially make sure that every item has its place. Only like that, we can keep it organized and clutter free. Plus, I go through my closet about every three months, which is where I store most of the things. So I'm reorganizing as I'm going all the time to make sure every item I have, I actually know what it is for. If I do find an item I do not need anymore or haven't used in the past three months, it gets donated or I sell it and make some money back from the purchase. Another favorite of mine on how you can save money is spend free activities. Taking time off is very important. It not only reviews your mental health and your creativity, it is also important that you spend time with your partner or family and friends. I have learned this the hard way about a year ago when I was close to burning out. I always saw taking time off as being unproductive, but I've realized it's the opposite. When I take time off, I'm thinking passively about new creative ideas or new video ideas and projects I want to do. So at the end, I am 
very well productive. My favorite way on taking time off is to spend free activities. Taking a walk in nature, going to a city you have never been before, or taking a walk along a river, things like that. These things are not expensive. Besides the cost of you driving to the city and maybe a drink or something, it is nearly for free. You can also bring your own drinks, you can get a picnic, make sandwiches and enjoy a nice lunch at the lake. Currently it is winter here in Switzerland, so a lot of these activities are a bit colder and sometimes we rather stay at home in our warm cozy home, but I'm very excited for spring and all the activities we will do then. And the last one, simply be content with what you already have. Sometimes we need to be content and happy with what we already have. I thought I am like that already by myself. I've realized this myself when filming my desk setup video. You can check it out right here. I have tech items which are getting a few years old, but I am very content with what I have and it serves what I want to do more than enough. So I'm very happy with the decisions I made in the past and I'm sure these items will last a lot longer. With new tech releasing nearly every month, new phones, new laptops, new cameras and everything, we're just waiting for the next purchase and a thing to spend money on. But we have to ask ourselves, do the items we already have just do their job good enough? Most of the time they do and you get the most value out of an item and the most bang for your buck if you do use it till you really cannot use it anymore and it needs to be replaced. You will know when this time comes. Do not advertising tell you when it's time to replace your thing. I myself, for example, would love a standing desk, but I tell myself, no, it is fine. You sit there for about four hours, you can sit, that's okay, you will get up afterwards, take a small walk or something, and then you get your steps in or it's healthy for you as well. Therefore, being content and grateful for what you already have is very important. These are some ways or tips I live more frugal in 2024. I hope you got something out of it and stay awesome and have a great one.